Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 8, verse 43 to 48. Jesus is on his way to heal somebody who's dying, and you know what? They're going to die before he gets there, but Jesus will solve that anyway. Right now, let's take on what happens here, starting at verse 43. It says, As he went, the multitudes thronged him. Now a woman, having a flow of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes throng and press you, and you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Somebody touched me, for I perceived power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. Now Jesus' response, He said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Uh, notice this woman. She's a very humble person. She's been bleeding for years. That means she was ritually unclean. She was unclean everywhere she went. Everywhere she went, she couldn't touch anything. She couldn't sit on anything. People didn't want her around. Here comes that person because that made her unclean in their, in their eyes. And so she is very humble. She just wants to touch the garment of Jesus. Why just the garment? Because on the fringe, on the fringe of the garment, were uh, little tassels. There was a blue coloring there, and that reminded them of the covenant. If you just touch the, touch the edge, that is a reminder of the covenant, keeping the commandments. And so this woman wants to be, she just wants to express her faith in Jesus. Oh, if I can just touch him, I'll be healed. And so she does that. Jesus, in fact, seems to work his way around. There's a whole crowd around, and Jesus manages somehow to maneuver so that he's close enough for her to just reach out and touch the edge there. And you know what? She's healed in that moment. Now, Jesus, did Jesus not know who it was? Jesus wants her to come out into the open. He wants her to, she wants to make a lesson for people from this. Other people were jostling close by, and they didn't get healed. But here's the woman, her faith in God was what tapped and touched Jesus. So she was healed. So Jesus calls her. She steps to the front. She tells what happened. You know, all I wanted to do, I just wanted it to be healed. And she, and she declares it. When I touched Jesus, I was healed immediately. And Jesus then, that's now we come to that 48th verse where Jesus says what? He doesn't have a rebuke for her. He doesn't have any rebuke for her. He is making her an example. Daughter, daughter, you know, she's like his daughter. Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go away in peace. And so that is an important thing. Sometimes we want to receive the benefits. We want to receive the blessings of being a Christian, but we don't want to tell anybody. And Jesus here makes an example of this woman. She should not just be healed and then go away, you know, all happy. She needs to tell of his power. Tell of his power. Your faith has made you well. She had faith. She had faith to reach out and touch Jesus. And because she acted on that faith, the power of God transformed her and stopped the bleeding altogether. Here's a healed woman, healed in every way through the power of God. Go in peace. Your faith has made you well. Jesus makes her an example of faith. In fact, how many times through the Gospels does Jesus take somebody, uh, a woman, a centurion, a non-Hebrew, he takes people all the time, especially the lowest rungs of people in, in the eyes of others, and he's so often a Roman centurion, you know, he will take people like that and make those people the example of faith and operation. Oh, friend, you and I need to be ready for God to use us and use us as an example of faith in Jesus in operation, right? Let's pray for that kind of opportunity. Father in heaven, you've done a lot for us, and we often have not said very much about it. We've felt maybe uh, nervous or shy. Lord, help us to feel bold. Help us to be courageous that you have done mighty things for us. Lord, may we uh, tell it to the world. Help us to do it in the way that's the most winning. Give us insight, Lord, but help us. We thank you for hearing our request. In Jesus' name, we, we, we plead for this. Amen. God will show us what to do. God's blessing be upon you today as you are his witness in his world.